Yagashi Mads, I am a shaddy, and welcome back to part 3 of the Little Jew Boy Chronicles. Actually, I should say, the actual intro I'm trying to keep with my lameness, even though I love that part show so much. What's poppin' peeps? It's your boy Coops here, back with another lame GX video, part 3, even though I thought it would only be a couple of parts. So, in terms of the storyline on GX, we, we've skipped a bit at this point. So, as, as I'm rolling the dice here, I'm, I'm kind of hoping I get a 1, that way I can just like auto duel him. Okay, no? Alright. So we're just going to get into the Cyrus thing really quick. So, what had happened beyond this point is that um, Cyrus, Chumley, and Jaden went into the abandoned dorm because they heard about the rumors of like Alexis's missing brother and whatever, and they got um, stalked by... Yeah, well, he's saying it right here. He's saying the stipulations, but let me explain the detail before I do the voice acting. And, you, you know, you guys can always kind of skip if you just want to see the duels themselves. But I guess you're here for more of my lameness, if anything, because I'm only doing level 20s. This is not like a guide or nothing. This is just more backlog video, which is great that I'm getting multiple parts out of this. I didn't expect that. But, um, so they trespass to the abandoned dorm where a mercenary, a card mercenary, card game mercenary. Oh, we're getting back to the Pegasus days, boys. Um, Titan was his name in the uh, Japanese version. I don't think they ever gave him a name in the um, the four kids because it's four kids and if they're minor characters they don't care. But uh, who Crowler hired to duel Jane in submission and get him like kicked out or whatever, not want to duel anymore. I don't really get what he would accomplish by that, but he did it anyway. But he ended up winning against, um, Jane ended up winning against Titan anyway, because his shtick was he has the Millennium Puzzle and he can make the Shadow Games and blah blah blah. And, um, he was a phony. Um, I forgot how he caught him. I know in the dub he says it's a Millennium Pendant, even though it was called the Millennium Puzzle. Which I think at least makes a bit more sense as a screw up than, um, the original Japanese version, because I think he said... There are like seven total Millennium Puzzles, and that's how he was caught, even though each Millennium item was different. He just flubbed up on the name in the English, but in the Japanese he thought they were all puzzles. I don't know. Despite the translation differences, he ended up be beating him, because I think he had, um, Titan had like, captured Alexis for whatever, for whatever reason as bait to get into the abandoned dorm or whatnot. And then some weird shit happened, when the actual darkness from the dorm like corrupted Titan near the end of the duel or whatever. And a lot of weird stuff happens. I can't even explain it in full detail. I'll be here all day. It's like summarizing the story of Kingdom Hearts, how that happened. But again, if you want to watch it, you can go, as Little Karibo says, I think, to Hulu.com. Or it might be on Crunchyroll, too. I don't know. But there's some legal sources out there if you do want to see it. And there's a legal, too, but I'm not going to point you in the direction of that. If you guys know where it is, you'll probably find that anyway, but I'm not going to endorse it. So, here we are now. Probably used his backup plan. Hey, these boys trespass into the abandoned dorm, they can get expelled for it, and but the stipulation, they were set up to have a tag duel instead, and if they lose, they further get expelled because, I don't know, you just can't expel someone on site for trespassing, you have to do weird duel things because it's Yu-Gi-Oh! and everything revolves around card games. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started with the bit here. Since we trespass into the abandoned dorm, we're gonna get expelled unless we win a tag duel. EXPELLED! I'm not good enough to be Jane's partner. I'll get us both kicked out. Don't worry, Sai. All we gotta do is win, he says as he dabs. Aren't you afraid I'm gonna get us expelled? Yeah, Cyrus had a very, like, low self-esteem uh, at this point. He has some character growth where he gets that self-esteem slowly up to the point where he even surpasses like his older brother uh zane or rio depending on what translation you want to go with but it didn't really help that rio wasn't really rio zane I, i'll interchange them depending on how i'm talking wasn't really the most motivational big brother he he wasn't nearly as dear to him as Kaiba is to Mokuba, in the original anyway. I know the abridged version, Kaiba just shits on Mokuba every day. But anyway. Nah. <laughs> I wouldn't want any other partner, except maybe Chumley. <laughs> what? 
Why are you nuts? And see, if I had the nut button right here, and I'm bringing up the screen, I press nut. But I always forget to bring it. Every time I sit down for, like, summer recordings that have waifus, even though I'm going to go back on those, I always forget to bring the damn thing. And I brought it specifically for meme jokes. And I always forget it because I'm a dumb idiot. We're going to go in there. We're going to get out of there. And we're going to not fail. We're going to go in there. Do our best and win the match. Know why? Because I'm the protagonist. Because you and I are going to work out all our kinks right now. Let's duel. Uh huh? Get your game on, buddy, and let's have some fun. Yes, we might as well squeeze some fun in before we get kicked out of here. Yo, Cyrus is really my spirit animal. Just very negative on everything he does. <laughs> I can relate. Because I hate myself, too. <laughs> anyway. So, once again, we're going to... Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to get to play as anybody else through this entire this entire story. It's really just the Jaden duel. Unless with the next one, they give us control of Cyrus. And if so, I'm going to switch over to Cyrus. I do have a, uh, uh, a Roids deck for Cyrus, so I won't have to dabble in that. But, uh, you know, honestly, you think he should win this. That way he'd be, like, more confident and be like, yeah... So, Supercharge, I get, okay, so he starts down with a phase-down um, Supercharge uh, trap card, which he sacrifices a Roid and draws two cards, so that's not really the biggest deal in the world. Okay, so let's let him go first. Oh, no, not Carrier Roid. Not Carrier Roid! That's the most powerful card in all of Duel Monsters! Alright. Should we... I was about to say, if I had another Terra Firma, should I just summon Elemental Hero Terra Firma? But I think what I will do. Actually, you know what? We haven't seen our good friend Thunder Giant yet. Let's go ahead and get out Thunder Giant. We haven't seen him yet. I, I know it'd probably be better to get the one that lets me draw more cards, but... We haven't seen Thunder Giant. I want to get out Thunder Giant. He missed his cameo for Alexis's duel, so... We're gonna have him show up here. Hey man, how's it going? Sorry I didn't get to summon you before. But now you're here, and that's all that matters. And then also summon uh, Heat to help you. And before uh, Cyrus just gives up, sacrifices his monster, draws two cards, and that's it. He's just, he's just so defeated. That he's like, no, oh, fuck it, you win, Jane. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens. <laughs> he did just say... Fuck it, you win. <laughs> Alright, Cyrus. I'm sorry, dude. Oh, wait, no. that. Oh, does it not destroy the monster? Oh, you know, I thought it destroyed the monster. I thought Supercharged, you got rid of the monster on the field and it destroyed it. Maybe he has something where it doesn't do that effect. Let's let's read it together real quick, guys, shall we? Before I end my turn. Supercharged. When you're, oh, when your point declares an attack while the only monsters are... Okay. So he doesn't have to sacrifice it. Huh? See, there's sometimes where I don't necessarily read the cards and what they do. I just kind of assume. Again, I'm an old school Yu-Gi-Oh player. I kind of there's some cards I still don't know verbatim the effects, except like the really old old Yu-Gi-Oh ones and some of the GX. I know about some of the GX, but I'm not too familiar with um, Cyrus's Roid so much so that um, you know I can learn them by heart. And he's all de look, he's all determined in this duel right now, even though he was just like wanting to kill himself, like. A little bit ago. Alright, we're just gonna throw down the face down. And uh, probably end it here with Thunder Giant. No, we're not gonna use that. Ah, oh, nope, he gets to live one more turn because of uh, Gyroid. Because when you attack Gyroid, he's just like, Nope, I'm okay. I'm good. Yo, draw your less pathetic card, Yugi. It won't save you. Or your grandpa. Nah. Alright. So, fun fact, Cyrus is voiced by Dan Green. So, he technically is Yugi. If you couldn't hear from it already, for those who don't know, like, the four kids dubbing shenanigans. Like, he has so many cards right now. You think he's gonna... You think he would, like, use Palmerization, and he would summon that big old fusion card, and then just try me. So, his... Probably his level 20 deck doesn't have it. I'd imagine his level... His level, the, the 41 does. But probably not this one. Okay. 
So what I'm going to do here, if things go weird, let's go ahead and see what happens when I attack. Okay, it was just that. Well, we don't have to we don't have to cool, do the cool thing it was gyroid, so I'm pretty sure we went here. With Thunder Boogingi. Bah! I told you I would win, Yugi. <laughs> all right. And look, he's all happy here because those are pre-recorded lines. But when we get back to the story, he's gonna want to fucking cut himself. God damn it, Cyrus! Or show if you're a weeb, <laughs> whatever you want to call him. Might as well say this: too. Alexis is Oscar. <laughs> And Bastion is, you know, I forgot what Bastion was, forgot what his, uh, forgot what his Japanese name was. But then again, the show tends to forget that Bastion even exists, so, you know. <laughs> and that's game! That was a good duel, Cyrus! I don't know about that. I didn't put too much up a, up too much of a fight, Jaden. No, he's not wrong. But then again, if I would've picked your level 40 version, you would've been good. What do you mean? Sure, I pulled out the end, but you made some sweet moves, especially how you did that only off of the top ramp into a 360 dab. You skateboarding? Although, I'm curious about something. What was that one card you drew but didn't play? And here's where we get into um, something about Cyrus and not being able to pay Power Bond because his brother's like, you're a failure and you can't play it unless you know how to play the card you gotta read the card even though that right there the card doesn't have no text that's exactly what i was talking about in the four kids dub in the japanese one it would actually look like the freaking card and it would have the text and everything but four kids just like big picture who expected to know how to play so that's the dealio of that power bond why didn't you use it you'd have doubled your monsters <laughs> You don't understand. My bro says I'm not good enough to use it. And I'll never be. It's clear you'll never win the tag duel if I'm your partner. Sigh! There we go. Okay, so let's try to get that little story bit. Maybe that'll clear us up on the, uh, the Titan thing that happened. So if I can get... Let me see my support items. If I can... I, I still don't have, uh, three dice. Uh, well, let's just randomly roll. And we get the random duelist, of course we do. Fuck! Alright. Well, uh... We're just gonna have that one auto-duel, because I don't necessarily care about this one. We're just gonna have Jaden do some fancy moves in the background. And now I gotta f find out filler time to talk about. Filler time to talk about. I don't know what I'm talking about. Filler time to talk about. I'll just be a, a random commentator. Alright, here comes our... Pro star of the evening, Jaden Yuki versus Ricky Hall. In a duel for the ages, can he win against a level 12? Mickey starts by summoning some dumb clown zombie thing and powering it up the 650. Jaden starts with his elemental hero in attack mode for some reason, but fuses the stuff in his hand anyway for his star player. Terra Firma attacks with that, attacks with the woodsman. Mickey goes into the defensive, woodsman gets him a polymerization. He does nothing with it. He summons the, that creature again for some reason. Uh, Terra Firma attacks. The, the weird monstrosity attacks for a thousand. Mickey's still going into the fence mode. Terra Firma attacks a baby. And the dumb creature attacks in Woodsman for game. <laughs> okay, well, that was a fun distraction for like a couple of seconds. Because, see, I was trying to badly think, should I talk about anything here? But again, as I've stated before... I'm a very boring individual with not much to talk about. Except, hey, Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out soon. I can't wait to know life that. And maybe get a, a break off of my fucking mobile games. <laughs> so let's roll the dice and see what we get. Roll the dice and we get our two. And we get another one dice. Um, Well, we have two one dices, so instead of risking it and trying to get the two... I'm just gonna go ahead and use my two one dices because as you go on the board, you can get dices that like guarantee you the rolls. So I'm gonna go ahead and use two of those. That way we get the story thing guaranteed, and I don't fail like a goddamn idiot. And there we go. That's how you rig the game. Right. Oh, and this this happened like 
think after or before but um um you'll see in a minute uh Jaden had big cojones try to take on Zane he inevitably lost but that's pretty much how that went Jaden learns that Cyrus doesn't have the heart to play Powerball and his most powerful card that's right this is this is after he did this because he found out that Zane was being a big idiot so um he went to go fight Zane and then maybe give Cyrus that confidence boost to be able to use it once he like smacks big brother around a little bit that's right Jane decides to duel Cyrus's brother Zane to discover why. Yeah! A good duelist is ready for anything. Not just knowing how to use their cards, but knowing how to play them too. Knowing how to play your cards? Well, of course! Knowing how to use a card and knowing how to play a card are two totally different things. That's what Zane was trying to tell me all those years ago. I get it now. Or as little Karibo said, he could have just... He could have just told you. Yeah. Instead of being all cryptic. That's what I've been missing from my duel. Here I go, Jaden. I activate the magic of Power Bond. I create Malkir. Plus Power Bond's effect doubles its attack. But I'm taking a risk. I, it, I'll take damage equal to its original attack at the end of the turn. But that won't matter if you play it right, and Zane has. I just wish it didn't have to be at Jaden's expense. Metal Gear Attack! Roar! Uh huh! No! I'm okay. Huh? I'm okay. Thanks for the great duel, Zane. <laughs> I think Psy chose good friends. Ellipses. Your brother's got mad skills. Well, at least I got the looks. Sh Shadows, the, the four kids, pl please laugh. Please laugh. <laughs> Come on, let's go home and work on our decks. Okay. And I say we arrange yours so you can finally use Power Bond. For sure. Oh, they, they fused for a second. For sure. Now it sounded like Jeffy. <laughs> Mocha boy. For sure. Now I know how to play it, not just use it. Wow, I was fucking up real hard there for a second. All right, Paradox. Now, I don't know if they want me to play the Paradox as Cyrus, but uh, we'll find out. And if they do, I'll swap over the Cyrus real quick. But yeah, this was a shock that they had the tag duel um, be with the Paradox Brothers, so they brought back characters from the uh, original series. Granted, they were like really one note, and they were just like Pegasus and Pegasus' goons. But hey, it was a it was a shout out to it. Even though I think the dub was trying to set it like ten thousand years past the original, that didn't last very long. Cause it's like, did the Paradox Brothers just drink from the fountain of youth? If that's the case, <laughs> anyway, it's time to begin the tag duel. If Jaden loses, he'll be expelled from Duel Academy once and for all. I'm just sounding like Merrick, really, dudes. I mean, which is why he'll be facing the greatest duelist in the world. Without further ado, let me introduce our tag guest tag team duo. Hey ha! Ha ha! What is this? Salutations, you fools! The Paradox Brothers hope you're ready to duel. That's exactly how they sounded too. I never heard of these guys. Enough with the pleasantries! And on with the duel! Amazing. We didn't come here to talk! We came! To destroy you! Yeah, it's Jay and Yuki again with the paradox. Okay, well... Fuck Cyrus, I guess! Alright. So, yeah. Um... I guess... <laughs> Crowler pulled some strings... Called up Pegasus... Pegasus was like, 
Woo, I don't have to pay them extra for this little trip, do I? And it's like, no, I'll cover the flights and everything. And Pegasus is like, well, okay, then I don't see why not. Cross promotion and all that. As long as Kaiba Boy is not being a prick. I don't know how that went down. But anyway. So yeah, they, they had a tag duel. And of course they will. So let me see what their skill is here. Because I know, I know, I know. Oh, okay, they might just start with like the pieces or whatever here. But I know that if I were to do level 40, they would probably start on the field with Gate Guardian and I would kill myself. Though I'd have something to get around it with this card. But uh, still, I would kill myself. Alright, so we haven't seen your boy Neo Alias in a while. A uh, Gemini monster that starts off as a normal. When you summon him again, he becomes um, Neos. On the special, you can use him for like Neos Fusion, Neos cards at the point. Whatever you want to do. It's really cool. Alright, Paradox Brothers. Show me what you got. How you're better than the others. Alright. Yeah. Shout out to that rhyme right there. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. Well, we're gonna activate this and get our polymerization, even though I can't fuse nothing yet, but it's okay, haha. <laughs> I mean, actually, I could if I, I'd summon, um, I'd resummon him, but I don't really need that particular fusion right now, so. We'll just instead summon the heat. We'll bring the heat. <laughs> <laughs> this card has interrupted the flow of the duel like every single time. Yeah, they were gonna try the summon Suijin, but that didn't happen. That did not happen, not today, Zerg. Alright, come on, Paradox Boogies, what you got? You know, they're not gonna have nothing because it's level 20. And I'm probably not gonna stress out, like, even after I'm done with. Great turn. Fantastic turn. The turn of the ages. It'd be much more funny if it was level 40. But I guess we're not getting a fusion here. So uh, let's just go ahead and as Kariba would keep doing. Let some element of heroes spec me. Spec me. Spot me. Spot me. You know, that's the, that is the way to become a funny YouTuber. You just quote someone who's much more successful and much more loved. You just steal all of their ideas. That's how you do it because... References are the best kind of ways you mooch off of other people's success. And you have a really squeaky chair. That's also how you do it, dude. That is the way to fame. So yeah, not a very impressive duel there, but... At least wanted to get a fusion. <laughs> oh well. So that's the end of the Paradox Brothers. They did some weird shenanigan shit, and they had Gate Guardian, and they beat him by like I think Jade infused one of his Roy, one of his cards with um, one of Cyrus's Roids, and they made some Bugingi card thing, and I, I I don't remember the exacts. I'm bad at this. You know what? It's gonna happen in the cutscene. So let's go ahead and read this, and then I'll be like, oh yeah, that's what they did. <laughs> let's relearn together. Nice, shout out to that SR gem I'm never gonna use. Ha ha ha! Are you rattled? Our monster can't be destroyed in battle! Your attack was worthless! Jaden. Sorry, remember what I said? Oh, right. Good! You said that this would all work out if I played the right card. This duel is ours! Just wait and see! What's the difference between knowing how to use a card? And knowing how to play it. What did Zane used to tell me? Gary, I'm Metal Gear! No, that wasn't it. That's just when he had a stroke. Oh, I remember. That is something that can never be taught. Only learn. I mean, it can be taught. You can kind of, you know, watch a simulation duel or how something's playing out and kind of like learn based on like the board. Whatever. Then I got. Then I got a. Wait, then I gotta thinking and just act. I think they meant to put that I gotta stop thinking and just act. You know, activate Ultra Instinct Cyrus. Here we go, my draw. I activate my spell card, Power Blonde. Jane, do you mind? 
What's mine is your Psy. I've used our monster to create UFO Roid Fighter. Yeah, that card. It matters not, so stop your ceaseless prattle. You know a monster can't be destroyed in battle. That's true, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> and then that's what um, little Karibo like uses a clip to explain like everything Yu-Gi-Oh related. He used that as a meme for a little bit. Again, shout out to little Karibo. That man's amazing. <laughs> Cause power bonds effect doubles my UFOID fires it took. Double? Sure, your monster will survive the attack, but it'll be a different story for your life points. Yeah, that's how they did it. Because they had Dark Guardian out in the field, which is not even out in the actual game. I wonder because the coding had Dark Guardian in the in the game files, I think. So I wonder if they actually played in the story mode. Probably something to see if I do the level 40 versions if I care to. But that card actually doesn't exist in the uh, the TCG right now. So, but yeah, it was Dark Guardian, and they just pretty much attack over it and won with the life point difference, really. Attack! Cosmic Flux Blast! Ah! <laughs> well, I want to think I impressed you, Zane. I duel at a higher level, but I know I have still a lot to learn, and a lot to live up to. And there it be, next zone complete! Now I wonder what they do for the next bit here. Because we are at the Duel Academy now. Okay, so... Bastion and Chaz. I think again these are both Jaden duels. This is just the Jaden hour. I was hoping to be more different characters than just Jaden, but I guess we're just gonna get a elemental hero bonanza at this point. Alright, well so much for that. Uh that's it for this part. I think after this we have one more to go, so they're gonna skip a bunch of story stuff. Um, by the end of this, because I don't think there is any more but this one and one last one, I'm pretty sure. Let's check out the rewards just to doubly make sure. Yeah, there's this one and then the Sacred Beast, so there's going to skip a lot of stuff on that one. Because, again, these, these duels are kind of filler. But, um, oh well, that's how you do it, I guess, because I guess none of the seven Shadow Riders are in this game. <laughs> so, uh... Alright guys, thank you for watching through the shenanigans. We still have like two more parts to go. So, see you next time for part... I mean, this is four. Yeah, this is four. Because let's learn basic math together, kids. One, two, three, four. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> so, tune in for part four where we do all these smucks so we get to sound like Chaz again. Chaz it up. <laughs>